Hello everyone, my name is Nitish Desai. Today I'll be showing you guys how to render in Fusion 360. So I'll be taking this car model to showcase how rendering is done in Fusion 360. So I had uh, downloaded this model from the web. So even there are lots of uh, 3D models available in the internet, you can just download. So now what I'll do, I'll just click on the render. So initially this is how it appears. And this is the panel where you can see all your previous rendered images rendered images so these rendered images were created via cloud so if you uh, there are two types of render engines one is local render and one is cloud render so if i click here so the rendering begins from my using my uh, using resources from my system so if your system is very weak then you can go here click on render and if you click on cloud render render then it will it will uh, render in uh, this one cloud in server and here is the time it is showing that it needs more than 20 minutes so what i will do i will stop this render uh, first i will apply materials so i will just show you how i created this same scene how i used hdri how i used material and i will create the same scene over here click on the appearance now and go for paint metallic then go for and so in the top what I will do I will apply glass so you can search here for glass material here it is. Go for black one. One, two. So now what I have to do? I'll apply a rubber material for these tires. So what I have to just type here rubber. Click here hard rubber. So. I will go for soft one. environment and these are the default HDRIs so if I double click here you can see the background getting changed so what I will do if uh, I want my own HDRI which I downloaded from web so what I will do attach to design click here so here are the list of the HDRIs which I downloaded so among this I will select uh, Leiden Hall Market Click OK. You can see here, and you can see how reflection is appearing. Very realistic. So what I do? I place somewhere here. I'll increase the scale. You can increase the scale by rotating your middle mouse in the drawer mouse over so click here now to check whether the material is uh, this one properly uh, this one assigned or if there is any missing so you can just click on this in case render and check so I will click we will see how it appears Yeah, this is how it appears. You can see very realistic feel. You can see all shadows, reflections, surface reflections. Everything are perfect. So what you can do? I'll just show you an example. Click on render. 
cloud render final and I have to click on this option render then a cloud render start uh, to render your 3d model so meanwhile I will just show you how to do post uh, production uh, so stuff and all so imagine I am uh, taking an example of this one click here so once the image uh, this one uh, gets rendered via cloud you can even make changes like color corrections uh, saturation vibration uh, this one vibrance and all so click here now you can increase exposure and these are present means they are nothing but like a filter you have uh, most of the filters available here linear neutral mild so if i go on clicking you can see it, it's uh, getting changed so what i have to go for we wind i'll increase the saturation you can see here then color correction bloom amount just apply a, a little amount yes. now here it will uh, again re-render we can just check it again to see how it looks and uh, here is the download option and here is the delete option so if you click on this it gets downloaded it gets downloaded and if it if you click here it will get delete and this is how your image appears after editing so click here so it will ask you what uh, format you want to know jp jpg so i prefer jpg click here and we, uh, you can save it as per your uh, this one folder options where exactly you want to save it so i can save it in desktop simple I hope uh, you guys uh, liked my tutorial, quick and simple. So let me know uh, if you come across any issues or if you have any doubts. Thank you.